Hey, 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 it's Adele from Let's Get Inky and I'm up with a journal with me video today in my traveler's notebook and look at this squishy little bean. He was so tiny. He's now, he's eight months this week. Yes, you are. Now he is sitting next to me. So a little warning, if you hear some noises, it's just the baby. Uh, so today I'm using my November Citrus Twist Pocket Life Kit, which is designed for Project Life pages, but I'm using it for a journaling page because in reality, if it's paper and stickers, we can use it for whatever we want to. So I'm going through the cards because I wanted a tip in. Yes, I wanted a tip in of you. Yes, he's going to start talking because he's going to think that I'm talking to him. Um, and I thought that this blue one was perfect. And it kind of has stuff like grateful and family um, because the November theme was very like thanksgiving -y, I guess you could say, if that's a word. Uh, here in Australia, we don't celebrate Thanksgiving, but it's always nice to be thankful and grateful for the people you love and your life and all of those happy things. Um, so I decide to do something a bit tricky, which I haven't done before. Of course, I do this every time on video. Uh, you guys are kind of my guinea pigs and I always try the complicated weird things when I'm filming, not when I'm just doing a video just for me, uh, when I'm just making just for me. So I decide to do, for some reason, uh, two Project Life cards in this weird shaped tip-in. And in the end, I really love it. But I didn't know if it was going to work because I the shape of the photo was overhanging two parts of the cards. You can see down in that corner there, there's a bit of the white card showing at the back. So I have to work out a way to cover that. Um, and then I have this old washi. So this washi isn't included in the kit, but it has lost its stick. It's, um, do you have a product like that that's in your collection? Let me know in the comments below. Do you have a product that isn't quite working the way it was once intended to? It's, it's seen better days, but you just can't get rid of it. I just can't. This floral blue pattern, I can't get rid of it. So I double side sticky tape it or glue it every freaking time I use it. But it's annoying, but it's worth it. So I decided to stick in that tip in. And if you're new to journaling and traveler's notebooks and that whole world, um, a tip in is basically just a flap. So just a, a little flap that you can flippy flap so you can put stuff behind it. It's great for if you want to hide um, some journaling or pop a photo that's maybe a bit silly behind there that you don't like um, because people don't know it's there. And if you can paper clip it down, then that's even better. So I decided to go for one of those little square uh, stickers. It's a puffy sticker and hide that piece of the card that you could see before. And now I'm sticking down my photos. This is my journaling process. I always stick down the photos first because I feel like if you start journaling and then look for a photo to fit the tiny gap that you have left, you'll be stuck for hours. So photos down first and then journal around them. It's a lot easier that way. Isn't it Archie? Yes, yes it is. He's staring at me with this huge smile on his face. Um, so if you would like to see more journaling traveler's notebook videos, let me know because I do have quite a few on this channel. This is number 11 uh, and I will definitely film some more for you. I just wanted to know what you guys liked. Um, I've been busy also filming some art journal pages. So stay tuned. I'm hoping to have, I'm hoping to have a video a week till Christmas on this channel. We'll see how we go. We'll, yeah. we'll now that was either you can do it mummy or <laughs> you're kidding mummy aren't you I uh, don't know which one that was let's hope for the first one so I decided to go for a very I say so a lot in these videos a lot I need to stop saying so I decided to go for a blue and black kind of theme to make those pictures pop I felt like if I was to add any other colors um, the pictures would have kind of been lost I guess um, so I decide yeah just a, a nice kind of simple color palette for this one if you don't know what a traveler's notebook uh, is let me know and I can record like a get started traveler's notebook video what it is the different types uh, let me know if you'd like to see something like that as well 
basically it's just a, a cover that you can interchange different notebooks inside it so this is the one i'm using is um from the travelers midori travelers notebook brand which isn't midori anymore but it's travelers notebook brand and it's the 003 which is just blank paper and i like the blank blank paper the best because i can write wherever i want to i do love grid though grid i prefer for writing and i'd say yeah i'd say blank for like actual sticking stuff and making it pretty and then grid just for writing so i decided i didn't know what quite to do under the flap the flap wasn't to hide anything it was just because i wanted a flap uh, so i decided to do a very very basic like leafy wreath uh, say that five times fast leafy wreath leafy wreath <laughs> uh and i decided to do a leafy wreath and do a bit of brush script kind of lettering in the middle i'm just sticking down ah oh, that's when i decide there's a little piece of that card showing so i have a label left over from the cut apart sheet uh, from the citrus twist kit and i think that was left over from my last project from my project life page if you do like this kit i do have more of it on my main channel uh, inky quill and you can see I did a double page pocket page using this kit earlier in the month but I decided to just do a very basic title I'm using my Stadler pigment liner probably I'm guessing in a size 0.2 or 0.3 uh, and now I'm reaching for a heavier one probably a 0.8 and I have this little pack that has um, six different sizes all in one and it's really really handy for stuff like this for traveler's notebooks because you can easily interchange and get a completely different look just by swapping out your pen size oh Archie's dropped his ball uh oh let's distract you with something different so you don't cry there you go I think Archie oh bless you bless you that was a big sneeze I think Archie's cutting another tooth which isn't very fun and he's also blowing raspberries yay so I'm just going over my lettering here and making it a little bit thicker would have been easier in the start to uh, start it off thick but you know that's not how I roll let me know please recommendations for your favorite pens because I love my Stadler pigment liners but I would love a really good thick brush lettering pen I've seen who was writing the other day I think I was watching Instagram videos because if you go on Instagram it's a dark spiral into wasting an hour of your time and you end up you start off with brush lettering and you end up on pandas it's just how it works the I'm shocking at going down a spiral on social media YouTube's another one I will start watching a video on brush lettering and I honestly will end up with a video of pandas just by the suggested videos on the side am I the only one is it are there other people that get lost in the black hole that is social media uh, but I am looking for a thicker uh, black brush pen I've got not as thick as the Tombow ones the Tombow um, dual brush marker whatever their name is uh, but something thinner something a bit smaller so now I'm using the stamp set and doing a little bit of stamping the ink pad I'm using is actually a new one that I've got it's the dilutions black ink which I didn't realize they did ink pads but apparently they do and it's glorious it's juicy but not too juicy and it comes off your stamps really easily not sure if it's permanent though not sure about that I haven't tested that theory yet so I'm just adding a little bit of journaling here and this is my this is one of my favorite parts just finding these little pockets just to put a tiny bit of journaling um, if I want to that's a previous page I did if I want to I can always have a page that has a heap of journaling but sometimes I just feel like doing these little snippets um, yeah I just think it's nice and it will be really lovely to have this documented as kind of Archie's first year I am almost finished this book though uh, as you can see he's not eight months here but I'm this book is kind of just for my extra photos you know when you print photos and maybe one of them has a misprint or you accidentally press the button too many times because you get very frustrated and impatient like me and you end up with several copies of the same photo when you only wanted one 
this book is perfect for sticking all of those extra copies that the relatives don't want um, because it's better to have them in something that you can look at and use and kind of capture everything in one happy little place um, rather than just have the photos either get thrown out or lost or squashed or eaten by rabbits. Uh, if you're new to my channel I have pet rabbits that's why that's why there is a possibility of them being eaten by rabbits. So I decided down this bottom corner it needed something a little bit bigger so I'm doing another one of those leafy leafy wreaths um, around this photo and this photo always reminds me of um, Wallace and Gromit going cheese <laughs> it just always reminds me of it so I'm adding uh, I just I was wondering about adding this flower and umming and ahhing and in the end I do it doesn't really it kind of just sits there it doesn't really work in but I make it work anyway so on the back here I decide to just do some larger journaling Archie's being very very good I I must admit I have bribed him slightly and I have Sesame Street on mute on the TV uh, so he's slightly distracted while doing this recording but you've got to do what you got to do I did make a mistake in my journaling but I tried to let not let that not phase me because as I've said before if you wait for perfection it's not going to happen and my nan always says a man riding by on a horse wouldn't be able to see it so just let it go so that's my that's my message to you guys today just let it go I would break out in a bit of a frozen singing session but my throat is quite croaky today and I don't want to subject you to that uh, so I added my journaling there and then I felt like it just needed kind of like a sticker or a or a something oh Archie you've dropped your other thing now let's see has mummy got a backup there you go he's sitting in his high chair next to me and he's having a great game of just dropping things off the side of the high chair so I'm all finished if you'd like more information on the citrus twist kits the links in the description below um, and if you'd like to see more journaling videos please do let me know I want to make what you guys want to watch um I know what I want to watch but I don't know what you want to watch so please do let me know and hopefully I'll be back next week with an art journaling video for you guys and we'll get a bit messy see you later guys bye